Bring on the Christmas spirit. It's kind of how it goes at the Algiers bonfire, and it's where we find our Kenny Lopez. He's got the hot story of the night, and he's live on the levee in Algiers. Kenny, what's up? Hey, Sheldon. Unfortunately, the fun is all over here at the Algiers bonfire. Behind me, you can still see a few firefighters putting out some hot spots and just cleaning up. But let me tell you what tonight was all about. It was about learning from the past and starting over with fresh beginnings. And what a way to start the holiday season. 710 drawers, all part of Jana Napoli's flood wall sculpture, now rest on the banks of the Mississippi River. It's something, a sight to see. Tonight at Algiers Point, the flood wall monument was burnt to ashes to symbolize the release of all the sorrow and pain caused by Hurricane Katrina six years ago. Burning and releasing the, the bad memories. I think it's the symbolism of the city that I, it seems like it's truly come back. And maybe this is kind of one of the final chapters for a lot of the locals to kind of witness before the city truly moves on. Before witnessing the burning of the flood wall, Brent Thomas and his seven-year-old son Chase wanted to take it all in. Just a great experience to kind of feel the fabric of the city and how we've evolved and just to kind of put this history behind us. Because um, I like going to bonfires. As you can see, there are a couple fire trucks here from the New Orleans Fire Department, and they're here and ready with these hoses in case things get out of control. It's a huge fire. It's going to be huge. I don't know. It's a little scary maybe for me. Scary for a moment, but like the victims of Hurricane Katrina, strength has come out of all that fear and pain. I love the fact that it's a variety of different drawers. So it represents a variety of people. This one, to me, it's a heart, and it represents the heart of the city. and. Um, all the hopes and dreams, so we'll let that go with the bad memories in our heart and start with new beginnings. Now, an interesting piece of information, the artist decided inside each one of the drawers, she put the addresses of where she found them, just as a way to memorialize and remember the Hurricane Katrina victims. Tonight, we're live in Algiers. Kenny Lopez, WGNO News. Sheldon, back to you. And a great tribute. Thanks so much, Kenny Lopez. What a way to ring in the holidays. This is how you do December in the heart of New Orleans.